Good morning, team. Hey, uh, this is going to be our stand-up. Please pay attention to everything that is, is being said right now. It's really important that everybody understand that. Number one, um, if you have not uploaded your driver's license information, you will be off, no, I'm sorry, made inactive today. Um, I just got a call to inform me for those people who have not uploaded their driver's license, I mean the front and the back side of it, into the Flex app as they are supposed to. I've been asked over and over again, but they will be made inactive by Amazon. And that means you won't be able to work, you won't be able to get paid at all. Um, so if you haven't done that, you need to go in there today. Make sure you take a photo on the same device that you're, that you're gonna upload it on. So if you're using the Rabbit, take a photo on the Rabbit of your driver's license and then upload it and if you're using your phone the same way. So please make sure you're doing that. Second thing, um, Amazon is now giving out coaching, which is basically a write-up and they will start removing drivers about returning packages that you marked as missing. I'm gonna take a harder stand starting today um, because of the fact that we've possessed this over and over again. Once again, there's a few people who don't want to follow the rules. So that'll be addressed today. If you go and can't find a package, we tell you this, not to mark it missing until the end of the day because a lot of times they end up in a later tote. Uh, but you should never mark those packages missing until there's nothing left in your truck and you know they're not in there. If that is the case, then you verify, you call dispatch we will verify and make sure that we can support the fact that you didn't have it. If you show up to that warehouse with a package that was marked as missing, you're getting written up, not just by me, but by Amazon, which is much worse. Because if Amazon removes you, nothing I can do to save you. You'll never work for another Amazon company at all. So let's not uh, put ourselves in that situation. Also, I've got a few people that have shown up on the what we call concession list. That means that customers said they never got the package, they, they was never delivered. Some of you stand out, um, it looks like theft. I have asked them, and don't worry, they already did it, but I asked them to audit a few people, they haven't given me the results yet, they're supposed to get back to me. They believe they did find somebody stealing, um, and I, I, I'm not gonna tell you how they go about it, but they know for sure that they're stealing. Uh, and I have already agreed that I will support any prosecution that they go endeavor to do, that I will support it by adding to it as well, by signing on the police form that I also want to press charges. Stealing is unacceptable. Unacceptable. You not bringing packages back because you kept them, that's, not, that's a problem. For all those who say, well, it was never on my truck. Um, the way they audit, we know for a fact it was on your truck. So please, you know, that that's just moral, right? I'm, I'm not even gonna go deep into that. Hopefully the majority of you do not do stuff like that. But for those who do, it's not gonna be a good day. Secondly, I mean third, right? This third, maybe it's the fourth subject, I can't remember. The next one is that when it comes to calling in, everyone calls before they return. Everyone, there's no exception. Everyone calls before they return. Now I'm getting this cut, this uh, discussions of people who call me and they're talking to me or talking to Marcus or talking to someone from our team about the fact, well, it's dark. I don't feel comfortable. I just gotta be honest with you. If you don't feel comfortable in the dark, you don't feel comfortable doing this job. Half of our day is done in the dark. And don't nobody take this as a personal attack on you. This is just overall, I just need to say this. I need to be clear about this. If you're telling us because you, it's dark and you don't feel comfortable and you can't go deliver because it's dark out and you can't see the road off, if you're telling me you feel you just feel uncomfortable, we're going to let you go. And I'm just going to tell you that because we do half of our day in the dark. So if you're feeling uncomfortable in the dark, this is not the right job or truthfully not right company because there are people who start at 6 a.m. in the morning. There's two crews that start early, like 6 something in the morning. Now it's dark then, but it gets light light an hour after that, but uh, this company won't be right for you. If that's your fear, then you need to go talk to, to another company. But if you if you tell us that you're not company or you come back because you just felt uncomfortable, just, just so you know, you're done. You won't be with us anymore because it won't do any good. It's not that we can work with you on that. You We work half of our day in the dark. So I just want to be clear about that. 
I want to be clear about the fact that we send you to rescue somebody, you rescue them. Now the, the dispatchers lead, they're supposed to tell you how many packages to take off of them. I think they've been lacking in that, but nevertheless, we will, and you take that. If you don't want to do that, I'll deal with that myself. All right, keeping the trucks clean. Do not smoke in my trucks. There's no smoking in my trucks. I should not see uh, ashes from cigarettes. I shouldn't see the black and mild, all that tobacco crap all over the truck. These trucks stay clean. All right, if you need wipes and stuff like that, you let us know. We can provide that. But keep the trucks clean. No pissing in the truck. That's nasty. No pissing in the truck. All right, you don't piss in the truck. You pull over, you find a place to piss, but you don't piss inside the truck, period. If I find a piss bottle in your truck, or they find one at the end of the day, because we know we clean this out the day before. If we find that in your truck, you did it, and we'll deal with that accordingly. I'm not dealing with that. That's disgusting. That's nasty, all right? I'm not going to go on about that, all right? We're not doing that. Parking. At the end of the day, hey, first you know, when you pull into any lot, that means the Amazon the warehouse lot, the over uh, lot where we keep all of our vehicles at, you pulling in at five miles an hour. You, you, you're not gonna be a danger to people rushing through. I really don't care what, what you gotta do. You don't, you don't drive faster than that. You, you pull in slowly. You park straight. You park that vehicle straight. We back in, for new people who don't seem to know, we back in to every spot, right? You pull into the first spot that is available to you. So whether you're in a white vehicle, blue vehicle, Mercedes, Ford, doesn't make a difference. The first spot available to you up against that grass line where we are, that's the first spot you pull in. It's only one lane that we don't use, and that's that lane where the shed is. The only people pull in there is if we got maintenance going on and we told you to put it in there. You, but you pull into the first spot. You back in, you back in straight, right? Operate safely. Next subject, the bigger one. Hey, in case you don't know it, Amazon is all over safety, which they should be. And the biggest part they're dealing with now is speeding. I am getting tickets every day for people who have been speeding. And that means you've been over five miles an hour for a certain 30 seconds or something like that, a certain period of time. Um, I'm not gonna be able to save you. And the truth is I don't even want to. I don't want to save you for that stuff. So. When they come to me about it, they say they want to do something. I just tell them, go ahead and remove them. That's fine. Don't risk it. It's not worth it, right? Just drive safe. You don't really get anywhere faster because you're driving fast. And honestly, because you're going to still hit traffic lights and all those other things. So just drive the speed limit. You will still get your route done. If you honestly don't believe you can get your route done because you can't speed, you don't know what you're doing. You're not organized. You're slow. Something's wrong. But that's just not fact. You don't have to speed to get these routes done. Truthfully, here's the problem. Next week, at, come Friday, we're in peak. And when we're in peak, it's going to be monstrous. The number of jobs that we get, or should I say the number of uh, packages that we have to deliver per day, number of stops, will be greater than it ever has been before. For all you people who can't seem to get 120, 130 stops then, this ain't going to work. I just, we, we're gonna do the best we can for you, but it's, it's not gonna work. We're gonna have to make changes because we can't be out all night. I mean, heck, we had a, a little bit more this this last week and we got people coming in at 9.30, 10 o'clock at night, which it should never take that long to do these routes. It, it's the problem with organizational skills or laziness, I'm not sure, but we gotta fix this. Um, this was a long video. I hope you all watched everything on there. There'll be more to follow, but please don't put yourself in a bad situation. I know this is the job until you get the job you want, but do right by it. Um, otherwise, I'll have to do what I have to do. In case you didn't know, we terminated some people for speeding last week. We terminated people for um, attendance last week. Literally six people are no longer with us because um, we're serious about this. We're serious about our team doing the right thing. So don't put yourself in a bad situation. Have a great day.